Welcome Aquarius to your September 2021 Zodiac Horoscope Forecast. My name is Jade and I am the Violet Sage. I'm a psychic medium, minister, and Reiki master teacher for over 25 years. I do a great many other things and I do incorporate anything that my guides, your guides, guardians tell me to incorporate this into your horoscopes. So it's not just whatever I pull, it's also what I receive. Uh, for you, Aquarius, your birth date normally would be January 20th through February 18th. We do also base them on 13 zodiacs that could alter your birth date for your sign to be February 16th through March 11th. Just keeping that in mind, a little extra, extra tidbit there. And these are based on your sun sign, the one that you were born under. But your zodiac and astrology chart has many other aspects to highly consider, such as your rising and moon signs. And if you were born on a cusp, which is when your birth date lands on or close to the end or beginning of another sign. So please remember, these are general readings because of those facts. And for a more accurate reading specifically for you, please contact me to schedule a reading. You can do so at thevioletsage at AOL.com, which is down there on the left-hand side in purple. So you won't forget. And if you care to donate to our channel, a lot of information is down below um, in the description of this channel and what we provide here. We also do the four elements and I do uh, weekly readings and some daily readings. We are on YouTube, Facebook, and TikTok under The Violet Sage. So please visit us there. All right. So... <clears throat> We are going to go ahead and pull a couple cards here for you. Aquarius, what does Aquarius need to know for the month of September 2021? And we're doing some real quickies this month. It's a little short on time this month, so but straight to the point. All right. Oh, there's a nice one. We have <clears throat> the Yule Singer. Rebirth, feasting, joy. Isn't she beautiful? All right, so you have reason to celebrate. You're creating a new you and a new life for yourself. And you should be patting yourself on the back. Even if it's been a rough journey, hard journey, it doesn't matter. It feels like that new leaf is coming. I feel like December may show, prove a little more of what it's all about. And uh, you may fully feel it then or see if, what all your hard work has done and paid off. So then another card here for Aquarius spirit. Aquarius for the month of September 2021. What does Aquarius need to know? What is going to be helpful to them in their past in life? All right, two keep coming out. So you're going to get two extra cards here today. Well, one extra card. We have Angel of Self-Worth. You are currently undervaluing yourself. It's time to gain your sense of self-worth. So you need to make sure you're focused on you and the changes you need to make because you are waiting to emerge. So you need to help this, uh, they're telling me, spontaneity and growth to come to the surface here. I feel you've been putting it off for far too long. And then you also got another card, Guard of the Arts. So if there's been something you've been wanting to create, now is the time. Do not wait. The artist within you is about to emerge. This is going to be being creative in the changes in your life. Cooking, uh, the way you're creating yourself, maybe actually crafting things. So rebirth, you're rebirthing. So be creative. What is it that you really want to do? What is it you haven't done before? It's kind of like thinking outside the box. That's really cool stuff. All right. All right, Spirit, what else? What else? This is like a perfect time. This is a beautiful month. And Aquarius, you are the creators of the Zodiac. So I believe you should be creating something. You know, it's a new way of eating and cooking and being talented about it. The more uh, beautiful you make it look, the more appetizing it is. So you can do it and make the changes you want in your life. Then you have crystals, focus, the crystal focus. So be crystal clear about your intentions. Use crystals to amplify your energy and maybe even your artwork. Uh, it feels like amethyst should even come forward here too. 
So uh, crystals of all kinds could really help you set up little grids in your art room or your bedroom or your family room, wherever it is that you are, this can really help you. It feels like if you really pick something to focus on, you're, if you don't know where to start, pick somewhere to start, somewhere at something. And we're going to pick a stone for you, a stone for Aquarius spirit. What does Aquarius need to know for this month of September? What is the best stone for them to utilize and work with? Ooh, you got diamond. Look at that. So, hey, you know, do you have an old engagement ring or something like that or even a current one? <laughs> you might want to work with it. Maybe you should send it a little sage and clearing and go ahead and work with it. And see if it doesn't raise your energy and your vibration to create what you really like to create in your life. Value your self-worth. You are God's precious. Uh-huh, can you read it? You are God's precious gem. So you are very precious and you are creating. And you know, the universe is depending on you. You have a wonderful, talented mind, but sometimes you can have artistic temperament too, but Help this to make your creativity shine and uplift your energy so you can be the best that you can be. All right, we're going to ask what diamond is good for here on Google, too. <clears throat> what are the metaphysical properties of diamonds? According to Charms of Light, diamond imparts fearlessness, invincibility, and fortitude. It clears emotional and mental pain, reducing fear and bringing about new beginnings. Stimulates creativity, inventiveness, imagination, and ingenuity. It brings clarity of mind and aids enlightenment. How does it get better than that? That is beautiful. So now if you want to incorporate these both, you can go ahead and get a Herkimer diamond. This way you got a diamond and you got a crystal. How awesome is that? Uh, I'm going to just show you quickly what came up on google in case you want to screenshot that so you remember what it can help you with all right so hopefully this has been of some help for you today please join our many other podcasts please don't forget to make sure you like share subscribe donate if you can follow us on facebook and like us on um TikTok too so we'll bring much more to you. If you subscribe to my channel on YouTube, you're going to see a lot more than you probably will on Facebook. But uh, subscribing to both couldn't hurt. Don't forget to hit the notification bell and follow on Facebook so you are sure to find out when we bring you new broadcasts, which is probably close to almost every day now. All right. Much love and light to you and have a spectacular fall and a spectacular September. Until next time.